the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our Gospel today is the story of the woman caught by adultery and he was being presented to Jesus. We have to uh, understand that this context is in fact there is an existing law about committing adultery. In the Babylonian code of King Hammurabi, it is said that once a woman caught performing or committing adultery, or we define adultery as a married man having relationship to an unmarried person. And in our modern term, we call it extramarital affairs outside the context of marriage. In the Code of Babylon, Babylonian, or Code of Babylon, of King Hammurabi, a person caught in this act of adultery is uh, put into death by drowning. By drowning. And in the law of Moses also, we see in here in which the Jewish people are very aware of, and I think even Jesus, that um, a woman caught in adultery is also stoned to death. So you could just see that the judgment and punishments of the adulterous act are so harsh and grave. If you committed this act of extramarital affairs or adulterous act, it's either you will be put into death by drowning and death by stoning. But Jesus in the story today, trying to open the minds of his people and also trying to, put, to open our minds in understanding to the sinner, to the act of a sinful woman. And here we are being reminded of that this gospel by Jesus, when he bent down and to write on the ground with his finger and asking the people, let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. And with this, my dear brothers and sisters, no one dared to, to throw the first stone recognizing that they also their own weakness and imperfection our gospel today then is reminding us that our lord jesus christ gave us an example on how we have to relate and treat a sinner or an adulteress for that matter Jesus is telling to us that yes, we hate the sin, we condemn the action, but we should love the sinner and we should not condemn the person. There is a story of a priest who has been uh, due to, to there is a kind of memory that does not slip his mind that all throughout his ministry he's carrying this kind of memory that he cannot forgive himself and one day there is like a visionary and then he asks if you're true enough as a visionary that you can read the signs and messages of God then tell me what was my sin during my seminary days. And lo and behold, this visionary started to talk to this priest and he said, you know, Father, God told me 
that what he forgives, he forgets. The same is true, my dear brothers and sisters, the invitation of our gospel today, that God is a God of second chances, that God desires the forgiveness of the person and his repentance and going back again to him and to renew his life and his person. My dear brothers and sisters, we are once again reminded of the abundant mercy of God upon us. That we are being reminded today that we hate the sin, but not the sinner. We condemn the action, not the person. And most especially, God loves us and His mercy is graciously abundant upon us. Amen. Please.